If you visit a beach in Southern California, you should always expect that there are sharks nearby. Why? Because it's their home. Some of our recent research has shown that people are around sharks all the time in the ocean. And despite the fact that they don't know the sharks are there, people aren't being bitten. So this is a really important statistic because it helps people understand that sharks are always out there whether you can see them or not. In California, the average number of shark bites is only three per year. So enjoy the ocean, but be aware of the fact that you're sharing that environment with animals and it's their home. When you come to the beach, the first thing you should look at is around the parking lot, are there signs posted? Because lifeguards will post signs if it is shark habitat. And that's good information. It'll help you assess the area that you're gonna be using. In addition, if there have been a recent shark bite, there'll be other signs saying beach closed because of shark bite. So it's important to pay attention to the signs when you arrive at the beach. So we know based on statistics that your probability of being bitten in a group is lower than if you're off by yourself. So obviously swim in a group, swim with friends, surf with friends, your safety goes up in those situations. So one of the things we've learned about sharks and including white sharks is that juveniles feed more often at dawn and dusk. So when you're in the water at dawn and dusk, you do run a higher risk of encountering a shark that may be in a feeding mode. So you can lower your chances of potentially being bitten by avoiding those times of day. In addition, that's when visibility tends to be lowest because light levels are going down and it's more likely a shark may make a mistake. Now, statistically, a majority of bites occur during midday, but that's when more people are in the water. Anytime you're at the beach, you should always be aware that other marine life are always paying attention for predators. So for example, if you're on your surfboard and a seal or a sea lion tries to climb on your board, it's not because it wants to bond with you, it's because it's trying to possibly get out of the water to avoid a shark. So anytime that happens, you should scoot the animal off your board, pull your arms and legs up, wait a bit, and then paddle back to shore. So always, when you're at the beach, keep an eye out for dead animals because they can become attractants. They can lure sharks in. So for example, down here on the beach, we have a dead sea lion. It's missing its head. So clearly an animal is feeding on that. We always wanna be careful. We wanna be cognizant of the area around us and make sure there are no dead things that could be attracting sharks trying to get an easy meal. And you don't wanna be confused for that meal. And you certainly don't want the animal to act aggressively towards you because it's defending a potential meal. So if you're in the water and you see a shark, actually that's a cool thing. And quite often, sharks will only get in front of you if they want to be seen. You should always keep your eye on the shark. Point at that shark, let the shark know you see it. Most of the time, that shark's just going to swim right on by. Now in some really rare cases, sharks may act aggressively towards a swimmer or a surfer. And what that aggressive behavior looks like is the shark coming in really close and then turning and coming in really close and turning. So what you wanna do is keep your eyes on the shark and slowly back up. Give that shark space. And by backing off, you allow the shark to calm down. But if the shark doesn't swim by, always face the shark. If you lose sight of it, look behind you. And if the shark comes and acts aggressively, coming in rapidly at you, you should definitely start backing up, but always face the shark. Now, if the shark tries to get really close and tries to bite you, whack it in the nose, hit it in the eye. Try to make that shark know you're gonna fight back. If the shark actually bites you, you should strike it hard in the nose, in the eyes, stick your hands in its gills. These are all sensitive areas and they will get the shark to release. Once the shark is released, you should worry about getting back to the shore as quickly as you can. Remember, our lifeguards are some of the best in the world. They're well trained. They know how to rescue people who are in the ocean, but they also know how to treat people who have been bitten by sharks or stung by stingrays. So if this should happen, make sure to alert lifeguards, wave your arms, yell for help. They will know what to do and they can make the difference between life and death. We don't really understand why sharks occasionally bite people, but we do know accidents occur. So the more you know, the safer you can be and enjoy the beach.